I'm Chef Ed. We're cooking at Keeneland today, and we're going to do one of our new small plate specials from the clubhouse dining room at Keeneland. And what we're going to be cooking today are diver scallops on a polenta round with a mango salsa. And it's a lot of different things. Again, people get intimidated by some of these products, but it's real easy to make, and it's really going to impress people. So uh, what we're going to do first is make the polenta. And the polenta is real basic, but it's a, it's a hot chicken stock. And we've already heated this up. And you take cornmeal. They have polenta mix in the store. You can use that. But this is just cornmeal. And you take it, just put it into the hot stock, and you keep stirring it. And it'll thicken up. And you keep stirring it. Now they've got quick make, you know, quick grip polentas and that type of thing. This polenta, you just have to, you have to baby it. Just keep on stirring it so it doesn't burn. You can add vegetables in it. You want those to be pre-sautéed. We just got a little Parmesan cheese, and we put the Parmesan cheese in, and we stir that up. That's going to give it a nice, nice flavor. And see how it thickens up. It's now some restaurants will thicken it up to a point where they'll actually use more of a, the grit mixture as their, uh, their base for whatever they're putting on it, shrimp or scallops. Some people put, you know, lamb chops, a lot of different things. So it's thickened up quite well there. And then all we do is we pour it in a pan. You level it off. Now put that in the refrigerator. And it's amazing what it does. It's come out of the refrigerator, and here's your polenta, and it's hardened up. So I'm going to take it, and I've got a pan, and I'm just going to flip it like that. And there's my polenta. Now, I want to get my presentation ready. We just have a cookie cutter, and we've got these little polenta rounds. Now you could take these and just put them in the oven heat them back up, put some more cheese on them, whatever you want to do. But now we're going to get them ready. And I've got my two polenta rounds ready to go. Okay, we've got our polenta ready to go now. So we're going to make a mango salsa that's going to go on top of our seared scallop. Really, really easy, really basic. But you take diced tomatoes and you take a little cilantro, take some onion. Now these are diced jalapenos. That's what they look like when you get them in the store. You seed them and you dice them up and then you wash your hands. If you don't, you touch your eyes, you touch your mouth. Uh, let's just say this dish is not going to be quite as pleasant. Put those in there. And again, if you want to put more, you like a lot of heat, you can put that in there. Lime juice. And then, of course, mangoes. And there's your whole mango. And you just get it to this stage right here. And then you just mince it to the same size that that is. And this will add a lot of nice flavor. Again, very uh, summery, very light. It's a nice light dish. You get your mangoes. Okay, and you put your mangoes in there. Again, you want to put a little extra mango in there, go ahead and put it in. Mix it all up. And you could make this ahead. This could be done the day before. In fact, the flavors will come out really well that way. So all these components, the polenta, and the salsa can be made the day before. And then all you have to do is just sear your scallops and you're ready to go. Okay, so we've got our polenta and our salsa ready. Now, to the big part, the scallops. And these are beautiful, fresh diver scallops. Diver scallops are actual scallops that a diver has gone down and cultivated from the bottom of the ocean, as opposed to a boat going and dredging them up. They're less gritty, uh, eco-friendly, uh, that doesn't tear up the bottom of the ocean, but very hard to get, so they're very expensive. But we're going to sear these very quickly, and I'm just going to take just a little bit of oil, not much, you don't want to, you're not really trying to saute these, so just a little bit of oil, 
and you take these and you can hear those sizzle and you're just trying to get a quick sear. You don't want to cook these all the way through. We got them sizzling in the, in, in the pan and we're going to put a little bit of jerk seasoning which is you can buy that in the store, you can make it yourself, but it's a variety of different spices. Uh, you know, I know nutmegs in there and a little bit of that Old Bay in there is really good. Here's some just Old Bay as well. But basically jerk seasoning. You flip the scallops. And it might tear just a little bit, but you can see that nice golden color. And you don't want to overcook these. They should be a little translucent when they're when they're finished. And you can see there, they're cooking in there, but that's still a little bit raw. And you just let them cook and they're going to get a nice golden tint to them. Don't overcook them, stay right with them. And this is the best way to do it because you get those flavors of the spice cooks right into them and it's a nice There you go. See those are beautiful. So Depending, you know, I'd say it probably the elapsed time would be five minutes, but you're, you're ready to, to go now. What you take is your polenta, which you've been heating in the oven, and you've got your nice little polenta rounds there, and they're hot. And you take your scallop, put it on each one of those, and you can put, you can come up with other sauces that could go on this, but you take your mango salsa, put some right there in the middle. I'm right on the top. And there you have it. Fresh seared scallops on polenta in the Kena Clubhouse this spring. Come out and see us.